everybody listening wants to either lose weight mm -hmm. or just be the best version of themselves. And so really to do that, one would be foolish to argue that body composition has to play a huge role. I think most people have a fundamental misunderstanding of what energy balance is. The amount of calories you consume affects the amount of calories you expend. There's evidence that the amount of calories you expend may affect the amount of calories you consume as well. When people hear calories out, they think about exercise. Calories out is far more involved than just what you burn during exercise. So you have one, your resting energy expenditure, which is the amount of calories you burn. Like if I just laid down and didn't move throughout the course of the day, that would be my resting energy expenditure. Then you have your physical activity, which goes into two main buckets. First being exercise, which everyone's aware of. The second is called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And it turns out that NEAT is actually very modifiable. If you look at sort of the obese resistant phenotype, the obese resistant phenotype are typically people that when they eat more, they actually spontaneously become more active without even realizing it. 